Did we check the P3 trailer first? You know what? That's a great idea. That's a fantastic idea. I think that's the perfect way to kick things off. Yeah. Is it just is it just published up on YouTube? Somewhere it will be. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, official Atlas. No, that's 15 years ago. Is it Persona 3 Remake? Persona 3 Reload? Ah, here we go. Xbox has something for it. Ooh, that's some good looking art, okay. All right, so, preface things here. I have never seen anything uh, Persona 3 related uh, visually. Although I do know a little bit about the game because of some stuff that there was like a critical role, uh, like collaboration or something like that. And it was just them playing inside the dungeon, I guess. Uh, apparently it's like a big dungeon. It's like a very, very gig, giga big dungeon. That was basically the only thing that I uh, got out of that. Unreal Engine. Oh. Alright. Oh god. Is this Elden Ring? Alright. Early 2024. Okay. Okay. That gave me a little bit of everything there. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but they're basically, they're basically just gonna make it like P5 in terms of, uh, in terms of the, uh, in terms of the setup. Now, I'm sure that engine-wise, the Unreal Engine thing is kind of a big deal because I'm, I'm sure P3 was, um, uh, probably, like, in a, like, like a scaled-down version of that engine or something, right? Like... What are the big kind of update things that you guys think we can expect to see from this? I'll go back to a couple key parts that kind of intrigued me. I love this look here, because you can see on the neck here, the little like grooves or slots, almost like there's a stitching, like this is not a, uh, not a human being, you know? Definitely made party members controllable, quality of life. Oh, so it's a, more similar to P4 with P5 graphics, okay. So yeah, this was them basically being like, the visual fidelity is going to be, going to be sick. New scenes, for sure. All right, so we got school, school lifetime management stuff here, starting in April as usual. We got our teacher, Miss Toriyumi. Oh nice, a big school. Is it just me, or did both P4 and P5 not really have you be set up at, like, a super nice school? It always felt like uh, with P4 there was, like, this, ah, this is not the typical Japanese high schooler's experience because it's a boonies town. But then P5 doesn't really have much in-school focus and stuff. So it feels like, well, it feels like Shujin was kind of like a nothing school. P5 is actually the worst school. This is a high-end school. Yeah, yeah. And one of the things that, um, you know, with the characters um, shooting their heads with the gun in order to uh, initiate abilities and stuff, that kind of sets up a theme of characters dealing with the mental pressures of needing to perform and having to find a meaning in their life and stuff so that they can, you know, go on and stuff. And if, you know, we kind of tackle the darker sides of Japanese school life, that could be, that could be pretty awesome. Yukari Takaba. So your health is the most valuable asset, you know. I figure we should think about what we're putting into our bodies. Health. Pretty cool focus on that as well. Yeah. Oh. Did we cook and it wasn't that good? <laughs> All right. We got a mall. A full proper mall. Oh, that looks sick. 
That looks good. Kenji Tomochika. Okay. Ramen fanboy here. Oh shit, do we have a do we have a cop social link in this game? That's that's cool. Oh no, right. This is just probably where we buy stuff. Never mind. Probably where we buy our uh, our weapons. Tenebrosa. Yeah, this thing is like a grafted scion from Elden Ring. It's going to be interesting kind of going backwards for the first time in Persona and seeing a little bit of the the ways in which Persona 4 kind of came from this game, if that makes sense. All right, then we get our combat system here. September, dark hour, that's interesting. Wait, floor 123? Oh my God. And this is only September. The grind is real, oh shit. Also limit 24, what does that mean? Dark hour seems to be some kind of status debuff or something status effect that's affecting the area much like the um yeah, much like the uh the weather effects in P5. Does it show you picking their ability here? Yes. So this is confirmation that you're going to get the P5 kind of combat system overhaul a little bit where it's the okay, you'll get to have full control of your your friends and stuff. Yeah, honestly, that was the main reason why I didn't want to play P3, was the idea of having to have my party members be AI while having also a big dungeon where there's a lot of combat. I, ooh. I would like the difficulty to go back to P4's difficulty a little bit, so that that would be good. But um, uh, specifically also having um, shuffle time. I would like to have shuffle time be back. Shuffle time is a really fun, simple but fun mechanic. All right, here's our main menu. I love the blue. The emphasis on blue and white and black is really cool. All right, so we got Igor, another Velvet Room, blue side character here. Spyros, Renasere, some cool stuff there. That looks more story related stuff, so I'm gonna skip through that. And that's it, that's the teaser, early 2024. Oh, Game Pass. Oh, shit. So this was a big deal. This is a big deal for Xbox. Best story themes in OST. I, I definitely think that from the time that I've spent in Mementos, like checking out like different theme songs and stuff like that, I have nostalgia for P4's music, but it's kind of been overshadowed a bit by P5 and the P3's uh, the one song that we've had uh, listening to it. I think P5's jazz, though, is more my style, but I really like the song that we've gotten thus far from P3. If they can nail the better parts of, like, the combat of P5, and then just have another, you know, unique but banger story, I think P3 could end up being my favorite from the, one, the things that people have told me. Because the things people have told me is that P5 has the best combat, just overall, combat's the best feel. P4 has the best social links, right? And then P3 has the best just overall plot and narrative. So if the big negatives of P3 being the combat specifically get solved, and then the overall QOL, QOL issues are dealt with as well, then really it might end up being my favorite. 